Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, let's take an up close and personal, in-depth look at the all-new 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLA 45 AMG. So this is going to be a detailed, in-depth review of the GLA 45. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you many of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as exterior. As a courtesy before we begin, I'd like to extend a special thanks and shout out to Auto Nation and Mercedes-Benz of Fort Lauderdale, Florida for providing us with an exclusive chance to take an in-depth look at the all-new GLA 45 AMG, the brand's first high-performance compact SUV. For more information on their dealership, including contact info and current inventory, you can check out their website provided in the description box below. And so, without further ado, Let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. This GLA we have here is finished in Jupiter Red and is paired with the standard AMG Sport Bucket seats wrapped in black MB Tech synthetic leather and Dynamico microfiber trim across the doors and the seat middle, not to mention red color accent double stitching and red seat belts. The GLA 45 features an AMG tuned sport exhaust system with electronic bypass valve within the muffler. Also available is an AMG performance exhaust system with a substantial increase in sound. While this GLA 45 doesn't have the performance exhaust option, my review of the CLA 45 does, so if you want to hear it and compare, click the link in the description below or in the annotation at the bottom of this video. The GLA 45 features an AMG calibrated speed proportional electromechanical rack and pinion steering system with a tighter steering ratio over the GLA 250. Turning circle measures 38.8 feet. It's all routed through an AMG specific three spoke sport Napa leather wrap steering wheel with perforated leather across 3 to 9, flat bottom race inspired design, heavy grips up top, red color accent cross stitching, and satin aluminum detailing across the spokes and multifunction controls. For an extra dose of sport, an AMG Performance steering wheel is available that replaces the perforated leather with Alcantara. Putting the power to the pavement is AMG's Speed Shift 7-speed dual-clutch automated manual transmission, routed through an aluminum electronic selector in the center console embossed with the AMG crest on top. To use, put your foot on the brake and tip the selector back towards drive. Half a click up is neutral, while holding the brake and tipping it all the way forward activates reverse and brings up your backup camera with adaptive guidance lines. To place the vehicle in park, hit the P behind the selector. Like other AMG products, there's multiple transmission modes that alter the way it performs. In addition to launch control, these include controlled efficiency, which gears the car for better fuel economy, as well as activating the auto start stop feature, sport mode, which raises the shift points and hastens gear changes, and manual mode, which allows full manual control of the gear changes via the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. The drive modes show up in the unique AMG instrument cluster with subtle touches of satin silver, metallic weave pattern, and AMG logo. And so, we're going to flip on the automatic LED accent and by Xenon headlamps, rear fog lamps, and the hazards. 
Naturally, all four windows are fully automatic. And we'll get to check out the exterior. As of late, there's been a shift in focus towards efficiency and practicality without compromise of style and performance. Buyers are continuously looking for that vehicle that offers just a little more. With bold styling, easy maneuverability, and available all-weather capability, it should come as no surprise that the compact SUV segment has become one of the fastest growing categories in the automotive industry. Specifically with the luxury CUV market, there's plenty of fresh entrants such as the Audi Q3, BMW X1, and even the Range Rover Evoque. The GLA class is Mercedes' first official entry into this highly contested segment, a vehicle that's designed to target a younger generation looking to jump into a premium brand at a relatively reasonable price point. The GLA rides in the same wheelbase as the recently launched CLA. Together, they represent the most affordable new models in the Mercedes lineup, with a base price starting at just under $30,000 for the CLA 250 and $33,300 for the GLA 250. As we've seen with the CLA 45 AMG covered in a previous video, the dream of owning an AMG product is closer than ever before. The new GLA 45 AMG is no exception, with a starting MSRP of $48,300. Affordability doesn't mean cheap though. The GLA features an upmarket exterior that, compared with the CLA, is shorter in length by 8.3 inches while being 2.5 inches taller and about an inch wider. At launch, 4MATIC all-wheel drive is the standard drivetrain for all GLA models, while an entry front-wheel drive GLA 250 will hit the market during the first part of 2015. The AMG, like the CLA counterpart, is only available with all-wheel drive. The GLA can be had with your choice of two power plants, from the base 208 horsepower 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder in the GLA 250 to the highly modified AMG Turbo 4 in the GLA 45 that rings in at an impressive 355 horsepower, making it the most powerful production 4 cylinder in the market and one of the most power dense engines out there. This also means that Mercedes AMG offers the widest range of high performing SUVs in North America of any other brand from the GLA 45 to the ML63, GL63, and the iconic G63. While front-wheel drive Mercedes have been abundant in Europe for some time, when the CLA debuted, it paved the way for the first front-wheel drive Mercedes to ever be sold in America. With both cars being related to the European A-Class hatchback, you're likely to see some similarities between them, but for the most part, each boasts its own unique design language with the CLA benefiting from the CLS-inspired four-door coupe theme with smooth, flowing lines to the GLA's upright, rugged, and aggressive demeanor. Like any AMG product, the GLA 45 also gets a thorough styling makeover compared to the standard vehicle. Beginning with an aggressive front fascia with contrasting matte titanium gray lower splitter, the front end is more pronounced, featuring larger air inlets, special black mesh grills and projecting winglets that visually widen the outermost intakes in addition to helping channel air more directly. The grille is AMG specific with unique twin bar design and AMG script within. Optional illuminated Mercedes Star provides a cool accent at night. The side sills are very similar, if not the same as what's seen on the 250, with rugged lower grey cladding. Out back, there's an equally aggressive rear fascia to complement the front that also incorporates a titanium diffuser and the signature AMG quad polished exhaust. The biggest advantage of the GLA are its increased dimensions, blending all of the sporty flavor seen in the CLA, but in a more accommodating package. Due to the proportions and styling, the CLA's back seat tends to be a bit cramped for taller folks. With the GLA, headroom is significantly improved, but we'll highlight that more later in the video. I honestly believe this is one of the best executed designs in its class. The dynamic body creases, bold fender flares, and curvaceous sides aren't only appealing to the eye, but a tip in the hat towards aerodynamics, with a class-leading drag coefficient of just .29. These numbers are thanks to the use of underbody paneling to create a smoother surface, not to mention re-sculpted side view mirrors and specially designed exhaust tips. Helping carry air at the rear and increase downforce for the AMG is a prominent roof spoiler, positioned right above the rear window. For an extra dose of flavor, there's an optional aerodynamics package that includes a larger front splitter, additional flicks in the front fascia, rear spoiler, and the night package, which gives it a more sinister look with blacked out trim everywhere you look. There's even an extensive carbon fiber package option. 
AMG models receive their own unique set of aluminum 18-inch twin 5-spoke alloy wheels, but this GLA we have here has the optional AMG driver's package, which features an extra dose of hardware. The first being a unique set of 10-spoke 20-inch alloys wrapped in high-performance Continental 235-40 tires at each corner. With this setup, the GLA 45 is able to hold the road impressively for a crossover, achieving a maximum of 0.93 G of lateral cornering forces. The brakes consist of one-piece cross-drilled ventilated rotors at each corner, but they're actually larger for the AMG. They grow in diameter by 1.2 inches in front to 13.8 by 1.2 inches with four piston fixed calipers and an increase of 1.4 inches in the rear to 13 inches by 0.8 inches with single piston sliding calipers. They're able to bring the AMG to a stop from 60 miles an hour in around 103 feet, which is 7 feet shorter than a GLA 250. One of the biggest benefits of being an AMG product is the heavily revised suspension, featuring an AMG-tuned three-link kit with McPherson struts and anti-dive coil springs in the front, with a four-link setup in the rear. It also benefits from stiffer springs, dampers, bushings, and front knuckles. The anti-roll bars are larger and there's a solid mounted rear subframe. The driver's package also features a fuller tuned suspension with higher spring and damping rates with special calibration for the unique wheels. Overall length is 176.4 inches with a width of 71 inches and a height of 58.2 inches run on a 106.3 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight for the AMG is around 3,457 pounds. Go ahead and pop the hood. The GLA 45 is powered by a hand-built, transverse-mounted, all-aluminum, turbocharged and intercooled 2-liter dual overhead cam 16-valve 4-cylinder with direct fuel injection. While they may sound similar to the GLA 250, the AMG has been heavily modified to yield the most powerful production 4-cylinder you can currently buy, and features an astonishing 178 horsepower per liter. This also makes it one of the most power-dense engines out there. It produces 355 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 332 pound-feet of torque at 2250 rpm. This translates to 0 to 60 times around 4.8 seconds, which is around 2.3 seconds quicker than the 250, and quarter mile times around 12.8 seconds at 108 miles an hour. Top speed is electronically limited to 155 for the standard AMG, but with the driver's package, which we have here, it's increased to 167 miles an hour. This begs the question, how did AMG do it? Well, largely in part to a Borg Warner twin scroll turbocharger custom made for this application. It produces up to an unreal 26.1 psi of boost. Stronger sand cast aluminum forms the block and head, while the standard 250 has die cast aluminum. The 45 also features upgraded forged internals such as pistons and an upgraded camshaft. There's even a low temperature cooling circuit that feeds water to an intercooler, similar tech that's also found in the SLS AMG. A butterfly valve in the exhaust allows the signature AMG pop-off to sing as the car climbs past 3000 RPM, working via suppression of fuel injection and ignition momentarily through up or down shifts. An eco start stop feature is standard. As far as fuel economy, with a 14.8 gallon tank of required premium fuel, expect a miles per gallon range between 23 city and 29 on the highway. Despite what the price point may suggest, the standard GLA's interior is anything but cheap feeling. The way it's executed and styled is very similar to the CLA, but without the frameless doors. It still feels solid and well laid out in traditional Mercedes fashion. Door panels feature a nice amount of the MB Tech synthetic leather and aluminum trim, not to mention color accent stitching. More premium surfaces such as a stitched MB Tech dash is also available. All of your power accessories are located on the door with storage down below and your power lift gate. As far as the seating, this GLA features the standard AMG Sport MB Tex and Dynamica bucket seats, with 14-way power adjustment including 4-way power lumbar and 3-person memory for both sides. They offer a good amount of flexibility, and they're quite comfortable and supportive for what they are. I also like the grip provided by the microfiber trim. With fixed headrests, they definitely have a racing theme, but there's even the ambient illumination that highlights the gap between the backrest and the headrest at night. Leather upholstery is optional, as are the AMG Performance seats, which are crafted by Recaro. With the Performance seating option, aluminum trim graces the top with race-inspired holes that mimic racing harness points. The bolsters are also fully adjustable via the switches on the side, in addition to four-way power lumbar, so you get a little bit of extra goodies when you step on up to the Performance seats.
The attention to detail is also pretty good and really brings out a performance feel. The AMG floor mats are trimmed in red stitching, there's even a driver's knee airbag as well as a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. Everywhere you look, there's splashes of satin aluminum found throughout. If you desire a little bit more of an open air experience, a full panoramic glass roof is also available. So let's go ahead and see as she sounds. GLA features the optional Harman Kardon Logic 7 digital audio system putting out 450 watts with Dolby Digital 5.1 channel surround sound and dynamic volume control. All of the media features are routed through the Mercedes Command infotainment system. Composed of a floating 7 inch high res LCD display wrapped in satin silver and high gloss black trim. Cloth wrapped A pillars with two side curtain airbags, grip handles up top, and illuminated vanity mirrors with a card holder to the right. Auto dimming view view mirror with three position garage home link located underneath, and up top is your SOS emergency roadside assistance. In the top stack, you have the microphone for your hands free Bluetooth telephone, LED interior illumination, as well as reading lamps, not to mention a padded sunglass container. The Mercedes command system offers a variety of features and infotainment functions such as navigation, Bluetooth telephone, satellite radio, internet connectivity, and so much more. Down in the center stack, there's also some shortcut keys for the most used options, all routed through the little aluminum rotary knob in the center console. For a more detailed look at how the command system works, see the link in the annotation below or in the description box below for an up close and personal look with the CLA 45 AMG. The attention to detail found throughout, like I mentioned earlier, is fantastic. There's even a carbon fiber option that replaces many of the large aluminum bits with, well, carbon fiber. The aluminum air vents in the middle are also a nice touch, aircraft inspired and work very simply, moving them around as well as twisting them left and right to turn them on or off. In the main stack down below you have a lot of your media shortcuts, the dialing pad on the right corresponds to your telephone as well as other different functions in your preset stations. Shortcut keys, off and on hook buttons for your telephone, in dash CD player, and SD card slot. Down below you have three stage heated seats, the trashing control, and eco mode. Down below you have a dual zone electronic automatic climate control system with temperature on either side, max cool, syncing both sides, one touch automatic, front and rear defrost, fan speed right here, and changing the modes there with recycling off to the right. Lighter, ashtray, and or 12 volt power outlet. Coming across the slender center console, you have the command controller like we showed you earlier, and two cup holders. This center console, wrapped in soft material, as well as color accent stitching, can be slid forward to aid better comfort. You also have an extra USB port down below. Open it up, you have a little storage well. This locks in place so you don't have to worry about holding it. And you have your iPod auxiliary media integration, including an iPod and other MP3 devices. As far as the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your radio controls, hands free telephone and voice commands. Help. For which audio CD functions do you want help? Select track. Search for music. All audio CD functions or voice controllable devices. Cancel. Cancel. So there's different commands respected to which mode that you're in, be it navigation or um, telephone, radio, doesn't matter. You can control many of the features through the voice recognition system. 
On the left hand side you have the controls corresponding to your driver info system located in the little TFT display in between the instrument cluster. The up and down arrows correspond to different submenus within the actual function. Right now we're in the trip computer setting. So you have a digital speed readout, trip computer fuel data, average fuel consumption and more. Navigation data, audio, telephone, drive assist for the different safety features and electronic functions, service messages, settings, different personalizable options, not to mention an AMG screen with different status gauges, activating launch control and timer, and which drive mode that you're in, your wiper controls to the left, and in the bottom, cruise control. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and shut her down. And we'll go ahead and check out the back seat. Outback, the GLA offers a substantial increase in rear seat accommodations compared to the relatively cramped CLA. The tall roof line allows for more headroom, but legroom remains somewhat similar and may be a little tight for those with long legs, being that the vehicles ride on the same length wheelbase. I personally fit back there just fine, but more on that in just a bit. Like the front, there's soft touch padding, aluminum detailing, and accent stitching found throughout. The back seats themselves actually evoke a little bit of a performance feeling like you see in the front, with the combination MB Tex and Dynamico microfiber suede trim. Plenty of accent double stitching, fixed racing inspired headrests, and a little bit of lateral support to either side. Even though the GLA is somewhat of a small crossover, you'd be surprised by how much headroom was in the back here. Mercedes did a pretty good job allotting for taller individuals. The only thing that I would say is people around 6 feet or so might want to watch their head when they're climbing in. Once in, the back seat is a pretty comfortable place to be. There's nice support overall, there's not a whole lot of lateral support, but there's a little bit of extra definition there. Like I said a second ago, the back headrests are not adjustable except for the middle one here if you decide to sit a third person. There's a good amount of padding in the lower cushion here and a nice amount of lower back support. The Alcantara accents also give a nice grippy surface. As far as overall interior space, I'm around 5'10", 5'11". With a comfortable seating position for myself up front, I probably have about 2 inches of leg space and let's say 2.5-3 inches of head space tops. There is illumination back here including reading lamps, rear panels up top with code hooks, and down below here, an extra 12 volt power outlet. Something that I can appreciate too is there's an armrest in the middle here. Nice and padded, and has two integral cup holders you just push in and flip out and they're adjustable. The nice thing about the GLA is that if you are interested in the CLA but needed a little bit of extra room, if you're hauling around people a little bit more often, it definitely has a lot of space back here for average sized individuals. Obviously if you're around six and a half feet or so you're going to be a little bit tight back here but I was pretty surprised overall it's a very comfortable environment for the class. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle. The GLA comes standard with a power lift gate. Once inside, maximum cargo space behind the rear seat measures in at 17.2 cubic feet, or about 12 cubic feet with the privacy cover installed. Remove the privacy cover and fold down the rear seats by pressing a button on the upper backrest and you can expand the total cargo space to around 43.6 cubic feet. You do have cargo tie downs as well as storage nets to either side, not to mention an extra 12 volt power outlet. Underneath the floorboard, you have some equipment for the Harman Kardon audio system, as well as your tire inflation kit.
The passenger seat also features all of the same power adjustments including the four-way power lumbar and three-person memory like you find on the driver's seat. Down below, you also have a locking glove box with a modest amount of space. The GLA marks an exciting point for Mercedes in brand expansion, not only for potential customers but for hot performance models like this GLA 45 AMG. A practical and efficient vehicle, it features stellar looks and great modern feel with a variety of ways to customize it and make it truly your own. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the all-new 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLA 45 AMG. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.